tell me you didn't just say that. Well, did anybody have this on their bingo card? <laughs> I certainly didn't. Um, I mean, you have situations like this. I mean, right now, Netflix had a fantastic fourth quarter when it comes to sub subscriber growth. And uh, I think, what is it? There were over 260 million subscribers at this point. Um, I mean, that that's really, really good for them. Um, I mean, you, you you have to understand is that th there is growth. I mean, some people are not liking this decision at all. Uh, the losers here is NBC Universal Peacock, uh, basically to the point where uh, you know they're going to lose subscribers. You know, NBC Universal, of course, they're going to lose viewers on the network itself on USA Network. Uh, but what we're talking about here is the WWE has made a major deal and a shift for their flagship TV show, uh, w, um, Monday Night Raw. It's talking loud and clear, and I can hear it. I ain't got no hearing aids. I got no problem. In 2025, uh, they will be switch switching over to Netflix streaming live. I mean, this is, this is not something that's going to be repeated. Uh, Netflix, by... 2024, if not sooner, they will be streaming uh, broadcast broadcast shows as WWE Raw. And it, it, they're probably going to be making other deals with other sports entities. I mean, they could have an NFL, NBA, MLB, soccer. You know, all those are up, up you know, for grabs at this point. Uh, you know, for, Tubi TV is starting to grab some items, some of the smaller stuff out there on the live uh, feeds as well. But I'm going to read this a little bit into the variety because this is a major shakeup. Uh, WWE has struck a deal with Netflix that will see its flagship weekly live pro wrestling show beginning airing exclusively on the streaming giant beginning in January 2025. That will mark the first time in three decades history that Raw has not aired new episodes on the linear television network. Does this mean it's the end of linear television? Only for certain channels. Only for certain channels. As you, as you can see, a channel like Grit TV uh, is doing very well. It's beating out CNN. It's an all-Westerns channel. And so is a couple of other channels as well. The deal is valued at $500 million per year for the next 10 years. A whopping $5 billion commitment by the streamer. Netflix has, has the option to opt out after the initial five years. Or, and to extend for an additional 10 years, sources say the WWE current five-year deal for U.S. rights to Raw with Universal Studios was worth approximately $250 million to $260 million per year. Uh, I mean, to show you, this is to show you that Netflix is not out of this. They are making money at this point. I know there's some stuff, you know, the woke situation, but I think they're starting to push away from it. I mean... You have a couple of things out there that people, are, you know, they're liking the One Piece series. There's a couple of things that are coming on there. Uh, the last Airbender looks good. Who knows what that's going to be like, but it looks a lot better than the previous live action movie that was out there that pissed off fans left and right. Uh, we are excited to have WWE Raw with its huge, passionate, and multi generational fan base on Netflix and Netflix Chief Content Officer Bella Bajaria. By combining our reach, uh, recombinations, and fandom with the WWE, we'll be able to deliver more joy and value for their audiences and our members. 
Raw is the best of sports entertainment, blending great characters and storytelling with live action 52 weeks a year. We're thrilled to be doing this long-term partnership with the WWE. Now, the other half of this, we're going to jump down a little bit uh, in this article. You can go to the variety, and this is where the, the article is from. Uh, there is a section to the rights of SmackDown and NXT as well. The deal is the final step in WWE's latest round of TV rights. Uh, it was previously announced that the rights to SmackDown has been sold to NBC Universal and USA Network in a five-year, $1.4 billion deal. Not long after it was announced, NXT will be moving from USA Network to the CW. A source close to the deal will be pledging the value of the WWE about $20 million to 25 a year for the next five years. Now, understand this. Understand that the overseas rights, uh, I think Netflix will be carrying this also overseas uh, on there. So, you know, get your VPNs out. Um, but understand is that Netflix have just stepped up in the um, streaming wars. I mean, they, they are still technically on top on there. And Netflix is going to start streaming a lot of this stuff. Uh, you know, to compete, you know, Tubi's doing very well for itself on there. Uh, Crackle could be moving up. Uh, Pluto TV is doing well for itself. It could be better, but Tubi is still up on top. You know, when it comes down to the top 10 uh, streamers, Tubi is up there higher than Pluto. But Pluto's at least still fighting on there, and they do have good programming, and so does Tubi TV. When it comes to the live streaming portions of it, uh, Tubi... Tubi's starting to, to build up. I mean, Pluto's been doing it for, for a longer time period. And they got some great content uh, that they're running live, uh, including news, sports. Uh, it basically, you know, you have 24-hour channels, Doctor Who, uh, you know, uh, some of the classic TV series, the Van Dyke Show, Stargate, Star Trek. Um, this is a lot that's going on. And now that Netflix is going to join into this, I mean, there are other Disney's going to try to jump into it. I mean, they already have Hulu that does the live streaming uh, via third party. Uh, Disney is trying to push this into their ABC app. But how much longer are they going to have ABC? I mean, they're in talks to getting rid of a P already a piece of ESPN. I mean, it could be a piece of it or all of it. ABC could be in the works as well. So tell me in the comments below your thoughts on this. I mean, this is a major situation. I mean, a lot of people are putting this down that the people are not gonna switch over to Netflix. I beg to differ. Considering what happened in the fourth quarter, there are gonna be people that are gonna move over. You know, Raw is a big deal. SmackDown, not so much. You know, it, I mean, if, it, if it, you're gonna get to see NXT on CW, if you're gonna get to see uh, USA Network SmackDown, where are you gonna see your Raw? You know, you're going to pay for that and pay for other programming on there and possibly for other sports. So let me know in the comments. Don't forget to share this video. Hit that like. And hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. We're just about in the 20 range away from that. So if you haven't yet, do hit it. So until next time, thank you for tuning in and bye bye now. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.